Yo, welcome back to another banger of a video with Ya yeah Boy. Today we're gonna be doing something a bit different than our usual tutorials. I actually got this idea from a channel called Venus Theory, but he makes crazy videos. He kind of goes into depth on plugins and the whole like music theory behind it and the science. A bunch of techie shit I don't know of. So um, if you want to get into more detail, definitely go check him out. But as you can see today, I'm gonna be reviewing my top five free plugins of 2022 so far. Some of them are synths, some of them are like more effects Stuff, but it's stuff i basically use fucking every day when i make loops when i mix vocals these are like my go-to's that i go for and sorry if my voice is all fucked up i'm sick as shit at the moment but yeah before we get into it uh make sure to check out our website in the description make sure to check out all the boys go check out our discord we are doing live streams now like three times a week we fully moved over to twitch and it's been going crazy 3-6 has been hosting beat battles and doing feedback sundays and we've got this like little community building up now which is really sick to see so if you guys haven't already join the discord you guys are missing out and definitely check the website as well we've got a bunch of free kits there jake's been dropping like a kit a week now i think and i'm about to drop a loop kit as well there's discount codes for everything uh, in our discord as well and yeah without further ado let's get into the video So to start off, we have Emergence 1, which I think is the updated version from just the normal Emergence. And it's by Daniel Gurgley, I think. I might have butchered that surname. But this is basically like a free portal, if you guys know Portal, the plugin. It's kind of like a granular synthesis effect. I'm not too sure what that all means, <laughs> but there's a lot of techie shit that goes into it. It really just adds a lot of ear candy and shit in the background that you usually couldn't get from like a normal delay or just a normal reverb. So I'm just going to start with uh, using Emergence on one of my loops uh, from my upcoming Coming loop kit. It's gonna be like a melodic hyper poppy, like rage type of thing. But this camera is bugging. God damn. But um yeah, I'm just gonna use emergence on uh, this loop on one of the stems, and this is how it sounds dry. And this is how it sounds with emergence on. So as you can hear, super chaotic, super random, just a, a bunch of random ear candy that just works um, with some bounces. So I think the main thing with this plugin is just exploring. This is how it sounds with only like one stream enabled. As you can see, there's a bunch of uh, parameters you can switch around here. You can add panning to the one delay. You can speak around with the volume. There's a bunch of normal like ADSR uh, knobs as well. You can control the length of the reverse, uh, the length of the actual delay, the pitch. There's a bunch of shit you can speak around here. And you can have up to four streams as well which is crazy it can get a bit out of hand but um if you do it the right way and you kind of play around with automation as well because um i'm pretty sure you can just automate anything here if you right click and press create automation clip yeah so definitely just play around with it uh, especially making like just dark ambient loops this is really sick to use and moving on we have like a little bundle of uh free effects plugins for you guys uh from audio modern the first one they have is gate lab got a little step sequencer with it and uh it's kind of just like a volume uh gate if that makes sense i'll just play the loop without the plugin on and this is with the plugin on as you can hear it kind of just plays around with the volume ducks it up and down but the cool thing that you can do is, is you can activate this infinity logo and basically it'll just randomize a pattern every eight or four bars i think i'm not too sure and uh, it might not be the best to use on a full loop like this but it gets really cool if you use it on like perk loops and hi-hat patterns just really like experiment with it even with like uh like plucky stuff or keys you can kind of get a nice bounce with it but if you want to do the randomized thing it's kind of nice just to have this in your effects chain with maybe even emergence or any other like uh, delay plugin just to kind of add even more ear candy to the whole uh, loop the next free plugin uh, audio modern gives you with this bundle is called filter step which is basically the same premise as uh, gate lab it's got kind of like a step sequencer but now instead of volume it plays around with you guessed it a filter and it has the same infinity logo here that you can just enable and it'll infinitely uh, just generate loops for you <laughs> Thank you. 
As you can see, I played around with uh, the dry and wet knob and um, I just enabled the infinity loop. And you can really get some weird bounces out of this with your loops. And like I said as well, with percussion loops, especially like this whole bundle is so perfect for that if you pair it with a good reverb or delay. There's also a dice logo in the middle where you can kind of just turn off the infinity logo and just play around with a set pattern. Because sometimes it'll just give you a bounce that you really fuck with. And then you can just have this eight bar pattern just loop throughout the whole thing. There's also a couple of other settings you can play around with, with uh, how fast it goes through the grid. Obviously the lower you go, uh, the slower it goes through the step sequencer. And then next to that, you can just change the amount of steps you want in the sequence and kind of just drag this on to enable them as well. And then you can play around with what filters you want in the plugin. And the last plugin they give you is Panflow, which is once again, the same thing. It's got a step sequencer, but now it's only with panning. So same thing goes, you got the infinity logo, the speed you want it to go through the step sequencer, and then a dry and mix knob. It's also got the same randomizer in the middle that our filter step has. So you can just keep on clicking here and it just randomly generates uh, patterns for you. Like I said before, really cool to use on uh, percussion loops. And um, I think Audio Modding kind of made it so that you use this bundle together because pairing them all together with the right reverb and delay, like I said, it can make some crazy effects to any loop. Definitely check them out. Moving on to the next plugin, I have one of my all time favorite plugins. I have this on every vocal chain. I used to use it on my hats and claps way back when, when I didn't know what leveling was. But um, basically what Fresh Air does, it's a normal equalizer, but it kind of just boosts the mid and high end of anything. I mainly use it on vocals, like I said. It has this preset called Vocal Air that I usually just slap on any vocals and then just play around with these knobs. There's not really much to the plugin. Uh, the left knob is your mid range that you can play around with the right knob is your high range and then this button in the middle just links them together i'm just going to choose the hat lifter preset on some hats so that you can kind of hear what it does this is the hats without the plugin and this is the hats with the plugin So it really just brings up all the mid and high range and anything. And like I said, you can use it on a snare, on a clap, on a rim, whatever you feel like needs to be, you know, just brought up a bit more forward in the mix. Definitely try to use it on vocals first because I feel like that's the best use for it. Next, we have Delay by Intergraudio, which is probably the most interesting delay plugin I've ever used. And starting off with this plugin, you can obviously use it as a normal delay. You can add a ping pong effect to it and maybe just play around with the timing of the delay. You can even add a tape effect on it that kind of gives the delay kind of a vintage effect and a bit of flutter to it. You can add distortion to it as well and there's a bunch of uh, presets here for the modes of the distortion so definitely just experiment with it. But where this plugin gets really interesting is uh, with these modes over here. You obviously have the normal delay that I showed you. Then we got something called reverse forward, which is kind of self-explanatory, but the delay will kind of go reverse and then forward. I'll just play it so that you can hear it. Next, you got pure reverse, which is obviously just reverse. After that, we have Chaos, which is kind of like a granular synthesis thing again, like Emergence and Portal. Like I said, I'm not really teched up <laughs> in that regard, but um, it sounds cool. So, But it's just kind of yeah, candy in the background. It's kind of just randomized and um, yeah, you'll, you'll hear. And with that, you can kind of add on to the offset of the delay. So it'll kind of be more delayed. And you can also add diffusion to it that uh, kind of makes the delay a reverb. And lastly, we have reverse chaos. So 
So yeah, really interesting, really cool for a bunch of different genres. You can make some dark ambient stuff and kind of just have this in the background as ear candy. Or you can take a lead like this and make some hyper pop top line melody. The possibilities are really endless, but this is by far one of the coolest delay plugins I've ever seen. And like I said, all these plugins are free. So you know, why not check them out? And the last plugin on this list is Surge XT, which is a very complicated um synthesizer i don't really get into super detail with this plugin when i use it though i kind of just use it for the presets and as you can see there is a shit ton of presets like i haven't even gone through all of these but there's some really cool um experimental sounds in here and also just some good like bread and butter sounds for uh, different genres but yeah like i said with all these plugins you need to experiment with it i've seen a lot of people use this for sound designing which is dope that you have a free plugin that you can do that and very well and there's a bunch of like in-depth tutorials tutorials on Surge XT. Um, they actually dropped an update now. It was normally just Surge, but now it's XT. And uh, there's a bunch of cool techie shit you can do with this that I still need to learn. But yeah, like I said, for the most part, the presets alone, it's good enough to actually download this plugin. <laughs> But yeah, that is about it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. All the plugins uh, listed in this video will be in the description. Like I said, everything is free. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you guys want to. Be sure to check out the Discord. Like I said, we're doing live streams now like three times a week. Uh, we've got a bunch of like collabs on the Discord now as well. Like I said, beat battles, feedback Sundays, a whole lot of shit going on. And check out the website for all our free kits, all our paid kits, our merch. There's fucking wallpapers. So yeah, be sure to run that shit up as well. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll check you guys in the next one. Thank you.